The International Olympiad in Informatics is an annual competitive programming competition for high school students around the world. Every year since 1989, when these were still a thing, each country selects and sends four of its best coders to the country hosting the IOI, at least when things were normal. Unfortunately, everyone's staying at home this year. At the IOI, students participate in two contests, and they are supposed to socialize and get to know each other. But they're programmers, so a lot of that is just staring at each other. And when people do speak, the conversations are not what you would expect. More importantly, the IOI claims to be the most prestigious computer science competition for secondary school and high school students, which I agree with since I've been selected to represent the USA this year after a series of contests in the USA Computing Olympiad. Although I just got a few lucky contests, don't tell anyone else. But with great power comes great responsibility, and as a patriot, I cannot let my country down. My goal is to get a gold medal, which seems completely impossible. However, it's only 99% impossible, because these international Olympiads give out gold medals to the top 1 12th of all students. It's only a 1% chance, which seems small, but at least it's something. For reference, I got a silver medal last year, but that was only because I got lucky on the second day. So I still have a long way to go, and I need to start training hard. Bro, why are you so weak? No, not that type of training. I have about 20 days left before IOI starts, and during this time I will be doing past problems, participating in online contests, adjusting my sleep schedule, and preparing to cry when I fail to reach my goal. Number one, doing past problems. So there's this checklist of IOI problems, along with past problems of related contests. I guess I'll just try to work through as many of these as I can. Number two, participating in online contests. There are a bunch of online competitive programming contests over the next 20 days. For example, Code Forces Rounds, and they're pretty fun. So it'd be a good way to train, and I'm looking forward to those. Number three, adjusting my sleep schedule. Unfortunately, Iowa is not in person this year, so time zones are an issue. I'm living in Taiwan, so the contest will be from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. for me. Here's my average sleep schedule now. By the way, it's summer, so sleeping at 3 a.m. is somewhat reasonable. And here's what my sleep schedule should be like by the time Iowa starts. I've tried sleeping in an afternoon before, and it works well for late night contests. Of course, the schedule could change by the time college starts, which is in one week. And this is another reason why my training might fail. For each of the next 20 days, I'll be uploading a short training vlog to an unlisted playlist which you can find in the description below. Until then, be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos on competitive programming.